Hi everyone, my name is Levi Johnson and I'm an intern at Learn of War. The disciplines that I focus on are literature, creative writing, and songwriting. I major in English and it has a lot of relationship to poetry and poetry has a lot of relationship to music so I'm also into songwriting. I've been writing music since I was about 12 years old so I'm now 19 and I have a lot of experience with that. So I will be doing a Facebook live series on um, some quick tips about how to write songs and basically basic tips and concepts and things that like basic songwriters will that are really helpful when in this creative process because there are definitely things that help make writing more efficiently. And when I say songwriting, I mean lyric writing. So what I'm gonna tell you are just a few tips for now. So the first thing that I would definitely say is patience. I think it's often assumed that um, songwriting is gonna come in like, you're gonna write a song in three minutes and be done with that really soon. But it takes a lot of time. It can take up to hours, days, weeks, even months because it takes a lot of revision, editing, revision, editing. You're gonna keep changing the song until you find that it's perfect and, and you have to love it because if you're writing a song, you want it to all flow. So if this song is gonna be coherent and work well, have a theme, sound nice, you're gonna to wanna to have the right components. You're gonna want it to sound really nice together. Um, my uh, moves into my uh, and if you don't want to get discouraged, you're gonna have to be patient also. So that moves into my second tip, which is um, from my experience and what I've observed from regular songs and songs that are out there that everyone listens to is that these are things that most artists do. They usually you don't go into writing with lyrics in mind. You usually let the songs. The song, the beat as an instrumental song, it takes control. See, you don't want to ever go in with hear, not hearing the instrumental song and having something that you want to say as in you don't want to write the lyrics before you hear the song because the music will always overpower the lyrics. You know how, like depending, it doesn't like matter how hard you try to make it fit, it won't fit. So for a coherent and successful song, always wait to hear the music first as always. And the second thing is, my, well, my third tip, the first one was have patience. The second one was uh, do not go into writing a song without hearing the music first. The third one is don't allow the instrumental to inform the music. I mean, allow the instrumental to inform the lyrics because um, you don't want to have phrases that you want to put into the song because that's always going to come out where it's not going to fit. It's not going to go together because in the end, when we try to fuse the lyrics with the song, if they have no connection, if they're not created at the same time, it usually doesn't work and it makes the process harder. I remember my friend in high school, I went to a vocational high school, so we had a lot of shops. We had one was music and my friend, she, I remember her talking about writing songs. so. She would always say that she hated songwriting, but the thing that she always did, she wrote her song first before hearing the music. She was like, I always have to write the song first, and then I try to make it match with the beat. But she always had the problem. It took too long to, and it didn't work fitting the music with the lyrics that she had created when she did those two separately. Um, and the fourth thing is always let your rhythm and beat come naturally. As I said again, the beat usually. The beat definitely it always has an impact on how the rhythm of the song goes and it will always come to you naturally because so i suggest you listen to the music and that's when i usually do it with like nothing going on around me i listen to the music sometimes i close my eyes or look like at a blank wall or something and i just let the words come to me let the words come to me um I'm going to do a demo with Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. And it doesn't necessarily mean twinkle. So this is just a song. I'm going to play like 30 seconds of it. And I want you to tell me what you think.
I just wanted to say that the lyrics don't always necessarily come from the music, but as, as you can see with that beat, it was really helpful because the the rhythm of that song and the the music really defined the lyrics for that. I like using simple things like that for beginning learners. It's really helpful at first, and then you move on to more complex things in the future, of course. And that's really how I write songs. So I wanted to say that if your interest is peak and you want to dive a little deeper into our own exploration of songwriting, go to learnervore.com and check out Learnervore's songwriting or music composition instructors of two are like kind of hand in hand and you can search yourself or create a request and have one of our concierges do the work to find great instructors to choose from thanks and join me next week thursday at 5 p.m at the same time for the next installment of this class thank you